člen parlamentu okruhy Etobicoe Center Ted Opitz rozkáže pro dvě programy kanadského úřadu zpravování na rozvětok ekonomiky v Ukrajině. Hello Ted, welcome, welcome to our show. Well, thank you for having me. Uh, congratulations on your new uh, position as uh, the thank chair you. of the Parliamentary Friendship Group. Thank you. Uh, recently in, in Ukraine on a, on, a, on a government trip, um, Minister of Citizenship uh, and other and other titles, Mr. Jason Kenney mentioned the CEDA, the two new CEDA right. programs for Ukraine. Could we discuss that a little bit with you specifically? Let's start with the first one, the strengthening media freedoms. How how in the world is CEDA going to be able to do something like that in a in a in a place like Ukraine? Well, you know, we first of all, Ukraine itself has structure. You know, obviously, uh, a lot of the structures and the institutions have have. Uh, regressed somewhat democratically, but they still exist and they're there and there are people that are trying to do a very good job. Um, CETA has always, uh, first of all, Ukraine is, is a nation of focus for CETA. Uh, CETA is the, and Canada is the fourth largest bilateral contributor to, to CETA and its programs. And because of the, the diaspora, there's 1.3 million people of Ukrainian heritage here in Canada. Um, and, and clearly it's a very strong uh, community and Canada has, has obviously listened to that and responded to that and, uh, and a lot of the contributions that are going to Ukraine are largely focusing as well on economic development because it's people at the low end, there's people earning just 200 euro a month. I met a cardiac surgeon who you know, made like 4,000 euro a year, that's ridiculous, right? Mm -hmm. But Ukraine is a country that has the potential to be one of the greatest countries in Europe, it's the second largest land mass. It has the energy, it has motivated, well-educated people. Uh, the structures exist, they're there. They need to be strengthened, democracy needs to be strengthened. So contributions like this um, to the strengthening media in Ukraine will help that democratic media. We've heard the stories of, of media being uh, essentially suppressed uh, by, by um, uh, those in government that are able to do that. And, and in fact, some media coalescing with government, which isn't a healthy thing to do. So this is going to be there to help educate media on, on the tenets of, of journalism integrity and, and reporting, very much like our media here in Canada is, is, is independent. We have independent ethnic media like yourselves and, uh, and you report fairly on, on issues. And that's what we hope to, to be able to inspire in uh, Ukraine. Uh, I don't know all the details in terms of costs and everything at this point in time, but that's that's the that's the overall intent. Sort of sort of an interesting thing in this particular case, Ukraine sort of uh, see this sort of partnering with the European Union on on this particular project. No, the Council of Europe, yes, yeah. yes, to do that, and and you know that's not uncommon. We we partner with other entities like that, and for example, uh, the Ukraine um, uh, Observation Mission, you know, is 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 run through an organization as you know called Kenran, which is an NGO. Mm. And funded through CEDA. Now there is a there is a very there's strong Ukrainian media here in Canada. For sure, is, uh, any of those uh, media outlets that are going to be participating in that in that this specific CEDA project? That I can't answer at this time. But as those details come out, we'll we'll see if there's an opportunity sure, to do that. Because I'm, I'm sure uh, I'm sure a lot of us would be glad to participate and help help move things and you, forward. And you have a lot to teach and you have a lot to, to convey and I think that would be a very healthy exercise. No, now the other one and I guess even the more tricky one considering the situation in Ukraine is the how, how do we strengthen the judicial system and that's that's the other CETA project. Right. I, I, you know how, how is that going to work? Well that's very important uh, uh, as you know uh, the judiciary is, has come under question for the jailing of, of uh, credible uh, opposition leaders like Yulia Tymoshenko and others. She's not the only one. She's just a point person on this. Um, and we're very concerned about that. Um, but you do need a strong judiciary in, in concert with media and other democratic institutions to make sure that, um, that the, the system of governance in Ukraine is just and fair. It also plays a role in, in elections, you know, with the, with the, the central bodies there. So the, those contributions to the groups that, uh, that are contributing and helping to develop uh, judicial expertise is, is going to, with a long-term view, be able to strengthen the judiciary in, uh, in Ukraine to be able to, to, to consequently become a foundation of democracy. And do you know the, the dollar value of both of these projects, total or, or otherwise? Well, the, uh, the first one, I, I don't have the dollar value right now, but uh, the second one on judicial education for economic growth, that's going to be uh, a maximum of 6622000 and that program runs from 2012 to 2017.